as we're filming today, unfortunately we got the news that Ronnie Moran unfortunately passed away after his short illness, uh, aged 83. The, the Liverpool team are over in, in Tenerife, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, and they, you know, have done a minute silence for, for Ronnie today, and I think it's only right, Paul, that we at least bring it up and mention it on the show, it'd, it'd be unfair not to. Yeah, no, I, not to. 100%. I, I, Again, you, like you saying, like it's a, it's a, it's Ronnie Moran. The years a bit before your time, and uh, similar Jamie as well. But I mean, I, I and it, to be fair, it's, it's I'm not saying it was it was bang on my time, but I mean, you know, the guy was was very much a part of the Buffalo Club as I, as I was growing up, and and it, you've only got to understand the history of Liverpool to know how important Ronnie Moran was to it. And we put some posts out, and I was thinking about it today, and it's it's interesting because you even look at like um, look at Psy Hughes' books. That, he, that he's done covering the 80s, 90s and noughties and literally every single player has got something to say about Ronnie Moran because he was just a, a permanent fixture at Melwood. He was the beating heart of the football club and people talk about Bill Shankly building the club or whatever, it look, absolutely. But in, in some respects, and almost like a an under... I don't want to say under, underrepresented or kind of not forgotten about or whatever, not at all, but the, the work that he did and how integral he was to the, to, to the club and... The, the upbringing of the players and the discipline and instilling the, the values of Liverpool football club. There's a great story. And I, I, I don't know if it might have been in Mike Yates' book. And he and he talks about um like the the first, someone cut across the first eleven pitch at Melwood, trying to cut across to get to training or whatever. And he basically like flipped his lid, lost and made them do all extra running and all that. He said basically, you're not fit to stand on that pitch. Because you've got to earn the right to be anywhere near that, yeah. you know, and, and and that was the the best thing about Ronnie Moran was that yeah. that thing of he he set the tone for what he expected. I will say, you know, I have read size books like you mentioned. Every player mentions like you know he was basically the the Mister he was the nasty one. So the manager yeah. you tended to play the role of the nice guy, and Ronnie Moran was a bit of the hard ass. So he'd always you know he'd win a trophy and he'd be like, oh, so what? Well, is that, you know, that thing that, that, in that, the, that, <clears throat> that story about when it, the end of a season when we're regularly winning the league and all that? He just walks in with a box, throws it on the table in the in the changing rooms and goes, take one if you think you've earned it. So all the players just must have been a bit like, okay now. <laughs> Do you yeah, know what he, I mean? He, he, was just, he very much brought the winning, yeah, yeah. winning mentality to Liverpool. He, it is, it's unfortunately, Jamie, as well. I know it's, it's, we're, we're <clears> of a, a slightly newer era than the guys, mm. only, only, only slightly. Yeah, he changes too much. <laughs> yeah. Slightly. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, even, we, we know very much about the boot room and, and that type of thing. And, yeah. And even, I mean, Ronnie Moran was assistant manager. Roy Evans, assistant manager, am I right? Or he was involved with Roy Evans, wasn't he? I remember that vaguely. But even for people of our generation and even the generations younger, which some of the, the viewers are, it's important that we remember you know, the, the people like Shankly, like Paisley. And, and Ronnie Moran definitely falls into that category. He was, yeah, he was, he was like the last of the category and that, wasn't it? It's, mm. it's obviously devastating news. And yeah, like, what, 49 years involved with the club, which is the yeah. most under under anyone who's been at the club which is amazing but he's like he is like Mr Liverpool isn't yeah, he it's one of them and it was like it's nice to see all um, all the tributes on like Instagram and Facebook you see Carragher Henderson just saying that it's devastating news and even like with like Jordan Henderson he came into the club he's the captain of the club and all that and you, you just see like he just acknowledges the type of person Ronnie Mor mm -hmm. Moran was so Cy Hughes we've got a lot of mentions on this show by the way yeah. uh, Cy and, and rightly so he's a, a wonderful human being yeah. as, as uh, an ex-Liverpool manager would have said um, he, su he suggested that Liverpool name the, the new training ground or the new training facility at Kirby getting men his name mentioned or the Ronnie Man whatever uh, Jamie um, it would, do you agree it would be nice for, for to have something and, and if so what, what type of thing would you be looking at um, first thing straight away with the derby we need like a mosaic on the cup or something yeah, okay. just something like that definitely straight away but more of long term it's First thing that does spring to mind would be the the new the new training ground in Kirby if, if it does go ahead and whatever definitely but I can realistically I can probably see that maybe even going to like a naming right or that's something. the thing in yeah. the money so it'll be it'll be money like that but it's just I've always had this subject when I speak to my mates about this and and stuff like this if it's we have to wait until someone passes away to acknowledge what they've done in in the yeah. life it it just mm -hmm. really annoys me but we've definitely got to do something at the club I think mm -hmm. Paul and I I agree with Sai it would almost be fitting. If it's not an, not to do with Anfield, but it is it is actually to do with the training facility and stuff because that yeah. that's that's where Ronnie is, is almost you know synonymous with. He was yeah. very much the he, he was very much in part of the Melwood it's, culture. Because I was thinking about this, you could put Ronnie put, put one put one at Anfield and other the, the, the redevelopment. But you're right, it doesn't doesn't fit for me mm. 
you know, something for maybe maybe something of Paisley or, or whatever or Kerry Dalglish because they're the Anfield was where they did did the business. For me, I, it's something that you know you'd want it like over the first team training pitch or something like yeah. you know, a big billboard with his face going <laughs> like that. But something when you walk in because it's a shame because obviously we're going to be moving away from Melwood because something at Melwood would be the most fitting. Yes. Mm. But if you're going to go there and you're going to start a new vision for how Liverpool Football Club is built from the ground upwards, having something every you know at the moment you walk into the the, the complex at Melwood there's. Was the bust of Bill Shankly, and then you've got the there's a European Cup there, and there's some there's some inspiring quotes and stuff. Definitely, just having something where you walk past Ronnie Moran every single day, a statue of him in his you know with his with his socks at half mast and his shorts, with with like a you know probably like say bollocking some junior <laughs> player for not cleaning his boots, right? Yeah, yeah. Whatever that be. So there's something that where every, every time you walk in, you just get a real sense of the of, of the man. I think yeah, for me that would be yeah, spot yeah. on. Did he, yeah. yeah, yeah, completely. Just from where he did his best work, and that it was always, you know, behind the scenes on it. So I think it would be it would be fitting. And, ha- and having been to Kirby a few times, and you know, we all have. It, I it, it feels a bit soulless. I think even yeah. now, they, they have got you know, there's there's posters of lads who have made it from from the academy. So they started to put more. They changed the the the, the reception rounds. They got more like Owen stuff and Gerard exactly. stuff. Exactly. So it's there. They've but... gone. They've got, that's what that's the direction they've gone. Which I get. You know they've. Does he John Flanagan's on there, for example, a lad who's come through the academy and made it? Carragher, Gerard, Owen Fowler, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I agree. I think it would be nice to get some of that because it's not going. It isn't now going to be a kids' place. It's going to be Liverpool's place. It isn't the mm-hmm. academy anymore. It's training grounds, and I agree. Mm-hmm. Even if it's the the Ronnie Milan, you know, the the pitch is named after him, or the yeah. the yeah. reception, or the suite, or the statue, or the, the post clubs. That. Definitely, they definitely have to do something. Yeah, like I that. agree. Yeah, it's it's just be, a bitch, like it, 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 and even though you're moving into the modern times, which this new state of the art thing will be. It makes sense that you remember your past.